Welcome to Kenya. <laughs> Elle est là, la casse à Kapongala. Elle est la casse à Coupé de Calais. C'est à dire le changement de l'Afrique. Papa Fololo, Frère Kela, on a bébé à la cour. My wife Christine and I together lead St. Mark's Church in Battersea in London. And we went to visit Maria Kani, a region in East Africa on the coast of Kenya. We had been invited by Compassion to visit one of their projects there uh, with a view to setting up a church-to-church -church link between us and them. The idea is individual members of our congregation sponsoring individual children in a compassion project. We arrived in Mariakani on the very first day of the project and there were already 200 children there with teachers and classrooms ready for action. <laughs> We immediately went and visited Pastor William Vadidi and his wife Esther. They'd been there for many years and we were so impressed with them, with their vision for their church and their community. And the church itself too, they were so excited about developing this project and what it would mean for the community around them. And we had the privilege of going into a number of homes, uh, the children who'd already signed up for the project, going to meet their families. And um, we have seen poverty in a number of different parts of the world. But I must say, this poverty shocked us. Uh, we went into homes which were simply rooms six by six, no floor, no mattress, no food that we could see, often only a single corrugated sheet to protect them against the elements. Uh, and the children were often just in rags, many of them without even shoes on their feet. Esther uh, Riziki ambaye alikuwa mshirika wetu mzuri sana hapo zamani ni mshauri kwamba asiolewe lakini baadaye akaja akapata mume akataka kuolewa lakini bwana alipoona amempatia mimba bwana alienda alimwacha akatoroka kaachana naye mama huyu akawa mgonjwa sana hata ikawa hakuna matumaini kwamba ataishi tena na tukapata habari kama kanisa tukaenda kumtembelea nilimpeleka hospitali na tuka tukalipa gharama zote za hospitali baada ya mahubiri ambayo Reverend Paul amehubiri kuhusu kufanya upya ndoa zetu pamoja na Yesu tumebarikiwa sana Mimi matarajio yangu ni mtoto wangu asome, apate elimu nzuri na aendelee vizuri. Apate asaidiwe hata pale ambapo pengine siwezi, apate kusaidiwa na pengine kama pengine mradi utatoa neema ya hata ya ku, pengine kumjengea ama kumchukua na kusaidia wale wengine pia ambao niko nao ambao hawana hatuna uwezo kwanza ni kwa vile baba yao amefariki na akawaacha kwa hivyo nimeshukuru sana na huu mradi kwa vile wananisaidia kupitia masomo wanaendelea vizuri nimeshukuru kwa huo muda mchache ambao wamesaidiwa na matarajio yangu hasa ni huyo mtoto wangu apate elimu endelee kusoma ili pia aje kusaidia wale wengine ambao hawajiwezi We went along to one of their Sunday morning services and it was an immense celebration. It was four hours long but the time just sped by. It was full of joy and praise and dance uh, but also a rapt attention and hunger as the Bible was being taught, as prayers were being prayed and as they encouraged each other to action in their community. As leaders of our church, we're so excited to know 
that uh, what we're doing is making a difference in these children's lives. Uh, one sponsor helping a child and through that helping the local church to build a new generation and community. And we want to learn what their lives look like compared to ours. We want our eyes opened to what poverty looks like, to what they're up against, and to learn from their joy, their faith that holds them steady against such adversity. And we know that this is going to be a wonderful step forward for us at St Mark's as we build this church-to-church -church partnership. Oh,